when you become familiar with your breath. You have a home wherever you go. Outside places may change, but you've got this internal residence, this place where you can stay. You feel at ease, you feel that you can relax, you can rest. And you can decorate your home any way you want. In other words, you can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow, whatever feels good right now. You're in charge. There's so much in the world outside that you're not in charge of, and there are many things inside your own body that you can't control, but you can have some control over your breath. So take advantage of that. Use your familiarity with the breath. You know when the body is tired, what kind of breathing it needs, what kind of breathing it needs when it's lazy what kind of breathing it needs when it's tense, because you've paid attention. This is how you build your inner home. The resources are all here. Most people don't use them. It's like having a pile of wood and all the other things that are needed to build a house, but they just let them sit there. But as you get to know them and get to use them, you realize, okay, this can be shelter, this part can be a protection, this part can be a wall, this part can be a floor, this can be your roof. The more familiar you are with these things, the more use you can get out of them. So spend some time with them. Get to know them well. And you become to realize that just the simple fact that the breath is coming in and going out, and there's a sense of energy that flows in the body, can be put to all kinds of good uses. And this is a home you can take with you wherever you go. It's a mobile home, a flying home. Whatever you do, you've got your home right with you. That way you can deal with a lot of the stresses and strains of the world, not be overwhelmed by them, because you have your safe place to stay. ยิ่งที่เรารู้จักตัวชายความสังเกตของเรารู้จักว่าแบบไหนมันดีสำหรับร่างกายเวลามันเครียดแบบไหนดีเวลามันมันเหนื่อยแบบไหนมันดีเว